welcome and welcome to Inspired by Dreams with Diana. It's January guys 2019 and I hope everybody's ready with your dreams and goals and I hope everybody achieve all your dreams and goals in this beautiful year. Introducing you guys to June Mary, the beautiful model and actress who is actually shining like a star here in Canada. Uh, why I say that is because first she's 63 year old. Look at her. <laughs> Second, she's actually living with an illness um, which is called chronic mercury poison, uh, which is not fun. And I am so inspired and proud of her uh, for who she is right now. And um, we've met at uh, Jenny Rosie's fashion show for the first time. Oh, right. And ever since, I've been so grateful and thankful that I've met you and you've been really inspiring. Likewise. Thank you, Diana. <laughs> You're very welcome. So June, um, tell us a little bit about yourself so that everybody knows why. Who is this June Mary? <laughs> <laughs> well, as you mentioned, um, I am a young 63-year-old model and actor, and I am a mom of two amazing married children. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Yes, and um, a grandmother to a four-year-old girl and another one on the way in two months. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you very much. A great start to the new year. Of course. Yes. And, and I really like the part that you said, I'm a young 63-year-old. That's, you know what? I think every woman out there should think of themselves that they are young in heart. Exactly. Always. Exactly. That will help you achieve anything in this world. That's Am I right? right? Yes, yes, that's exactly. That's my mentality. <laughs> that's right, yeah. Having said that, um, at, at what age did you actually start modeling, uh, June? Um, to my surprise, it was not planned in, in my future. I started at uh, the age of 59. 59? <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> that's very inspiring. To all those women out there, she started her modeling career at the age of 59. Wow. Okay, so how, how did this happen? Who encouraged you to do this? Or was this your own decision? Or how did this happen? No, it was, um, I call myself the accident, accidental uh, model person because it was not meant in, in, in the cards for me. Um, I was bedridden for, for about a year and I slipped into a wee bit of a depression and it was my children, especially my son in particular because he, he studies marketing and research and he told me, mommy, there's a lot of work out there for the mature model. So I looked at him and I go, uh, are you looking at me? Are you talking to me? And he said, promise me something, is a computer, study all about the mature model in the world out there. And that's what I did. I, I spent about six to ten months studying everything to do with the mature model. As sick as I was, and every month I gained a little bit of strength. And uh, I went on YouTube and I spent all that time educating myself about the mature model. So I studied the poses. <laughs> Sometimes I had to hold on to furniture to do it, but I did it. Nothing stopped me. I studied uh, makeup. How to do makeup for the mature model. I lost a lot of my hair, so I studied uh, how to put on extensions. So it's due to your uh, yes, due illness. To my illness. Yes, okay. uh, I lost a lot of hair. So I, I studied putting on extensions, makeup, modeling, poses, facial expression, styling, putting clothes together, and that's what I did. And Sorry to interrupt. So you <laughs> did this. You did all this while you were fighting your yes, illness. Yes, I was very sick, but I was very determined because my son put a spark in me. And I said, if he believes in me that I can do it, then I'm going to prove to him that I can. And I didn't stop. I have not stopped since. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's great. And it's great to have children like this, you know, who oh motivates their parents, their mom especially, when they're fighting an illness, it's great. It's great to know that. It's an and amazing feeling, you know, 
best feeling in the world to have uh, the support of your children. Of course, of course. Oh, having said that, I think we should take a sip of this. Uh, I'm having an amazing espresso from Fabian's Cafe. I should thank them for this uh, great uh, espresso. And what are you having there? I'm having chamomile tea. Wow, That's great. Awesome. Let's take a sip of that right Cheers. now. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> so, my next question for you, June, would be, what would be your favorite experience in modeling? and acting. Give us like one example of each. Hmm. There's a lot, but the one that really, really stands out in, in my head at the most and uh, very dear to me is, um, <clears throat> was when I uh, partake in, in a modeling show. It was a charity uh, modeling show for, um, for Toronto homeless, to raise money for Toronto and um, after that what we did we went out and got all the necessary food and items that they needed and we put it in red bags and New Year's Eve every year we go out into the streets of Toronto and give these uh, homeless people their bags their gifts so that's that's a really really uh, important organization for me and the acting part, believe it or not, it kind of ties into uh, <laughs> the, the, the fashion show, The Homeless. Um, I was the, the lead for a short film and I was uh, a homeless woman. I played the homeless woman. Aww. I loved the part so much that when we were rehearsing my lines and I had a cup with me, um, passerbys that were not in the film, they actually thought I was a homeless woman. They did not see the director and everyone else because they were hidden. And they were dropping money and coin into my cup. Believe it or not, I broke down oh. because uh, I started to feel like, wow, what if this was me? That's right. And how generous some people can be out there. Yeah. And then, but they had to cut. Oh. <laughs> because I started to cry during that, that time when they were just putting in money. And I kept telling them, uh, I'm not homeless. <laughs> I'm just filming. It was really funny. But you know. That's a very challenging situation. Yes, it right? was. Yes, it was. <laughs> but those two are my favorite um, fashion and acting uh, experiences so far. Great. So June, uh, what would be your advice to all those mature women out there? Um, my advice would be, um, it's never too late and you're never too old to chase your dreams, chase your goals and to not allow society to define who you are because that's what I did for most of my life yeah. and I'm a late bloomer so it took me a long time to find out who, who I am, who yeah. June Marie is. So I am urging and begging the women out there who, uh, who feel that they have even a, a wee bit of a desire or passion to chase your dreams, yeah. to don't give up on your dreams, mm -hmm. to believe in yourself, never stop believing in yourself and do not listen to everyone except your inner self because that's your inner guide. Mm -hmm. um, what would you tell the people that are so concerned about the society? Like, my gosh, I've got so much to say about the people. That, you know that, that, that put labels on on people, especially the mature woman. Yeah. You know, they put labels on on us, and they yeah. think that once you pass a certain age and and you're married and you bear children and uh, you know you're supposed to look a certain way yeah. and you're supposed to dress a certain way and mm -hmm. and and you know that they, they they forget they think that we forget that hey. We're not sexy anymore, so we don't look it and all that, you know. That's right. So, do you listen, Dad? Yeah. Do you really think I care about what society think about me doing what I'm doing? Definitely not. No, <laughs> I don't, because I do have a lot of uh, what do you call it, naysayers or whatever. Yeah. What do you say? Is that how you say it nowadays? I'm so old, I can't even say. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely yes. right. Do you think I really give two shoots about about what they tell me? And I do. I, I do get them. You know, on every few months, someone saying negative something about haters, right? That's yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, you really think I give two shoots about that? I don't because I have a dream and I feel good about what I'm doing. Yes. I am so inspired about what I'm doing by others. Yeah. You know, and I want to be an inspiration for the mature women out there that you don't have to uh, walk around in your sweats and, and have messy hair and, and, and not look attractive and, and not feel pretty. You're beautiful. Every each one of us are beautiful individuals. Yes. 
and do not stop following your dreams. If you want to be a painter, hell, go and be a painter. If you want to be an actress, if you want to be a model, if you want to be a, a construction worker, who's to say that you can't? Follow your dreams. I don't give two shoots about what society think about me and don't give two shoots about what society think about you. That's what I would tell them. You know what I would say, honestly? Yeah. Fuck society. That's exactly what I would say. Follow your dreams out there, woman, and never give up. Believe in yourself. You're the only one that is going to get you where you want to go in life, not society. Amazing. Okay. Get that straight, guys. <laughs> get that straight. So, June. Finally, let me ask you, what are your goals for this uh, 2019? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am, um, it's, it's hard for me to really, really plan and set goals because of, um, I'm a true believer of living each day for the moment, living each day to the fullest because tomorrow's never promised to you. Uh, I'm a firm believer of that. But um, one thing that has been sticking in my head since 2018 is to start to write a book. Wow. But, uh, so I have spoke to a few people and I have no clue, no idea about how to write a book. And they said, just start, get right. a piece of paper, a pen, and just jot down your feelings, whatever comes to you, let, let it flow onto the paper. So that's my, my goal for this year. But um, me living daily is to me is uh, I believe little things happen along the way every day and uh, it ends up being uh, uh, not a goal but it ends up being a blessing and I, I rather look at my life like that, that live each day mm -hmm. and uh, be blessed by it. So I really don't set goals, I just live each day and whatever blessings and surprises come to me, I, I accept it and grow with it. Fantastic, so, fantastic. There you go. <laughs> Lovely. So I, I wish you all the very best, June, oh, with your you. new adventure for thank this so year. Much. I can wait to read this book that you're going to write this year, June. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. But I promise you, you will be the first to read it and it will be a signed copy. <laughs> okay. I am so honored and thank you so much for your time, June. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Guys, check out this inspirational woman on Instagram, which you can see below, and you will know how beautiful she is, inside and out. And also, always remember, you are never too old to achieve your goals. Until I see you on my next video, ciao from Diana.